did you want to send me the before as well or, or just the after? Uh, I can send both. Yeah. Okay. Um, Te and, technical difficulties again. Okay. So while you're checking that out, uh, I'm I'm just kind of covering this, see what things we've covered. So far, we've covered how to set the starting point, how to add Matterport labels, how to add matter tags, how to create the Matterport highlight reel, how to add a Matterport note. Uh, we haven't yet covered how to take snapshots. Yep. So we'll do um, photos, and, blur. And we, we, uh, and we did see how to... Uh, where to download an order-generated Matterport video, or for that matter, um, uh, uh, photos that, or snapshots. Um, we didn't look at trimming spray. Can we take a look at snapshots and, and how to trim the matter? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we just, do, do you want to just continue down the list and we'll do snapshots and then we'll, we'll yeah, get to that? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So... Uh, to do snapshots, we're going to click on photos and we're going to zoom in on the snapshot we want. And we're going to click on this camera icon. It takes a picture and then it saves it. And then we'll come over here, for example. And I'm just going to focus in on this chair hit the snapshot button and then we can view see what we've done we can go back to photos and uh, that's where they all are so that's how you do a snapshot okay, uh, that was easy yeah Oh, actually, there's an icon to the right of the camera. What's that for? Just to view the gallery. Uh, okay, great. I, I guess I was expecting to download 360s uh, on that button. So is there... Uh, not here. Uh, to, to do a 360, you go to 360 panel at the top right. Ah. And then take a snapshot. So for clarification, if you have a need to download a 360 for Matterport, you're, you are able to do that. And so that's the button at the top where you're moving from the 2D view to the pano view or panorama view or what I call a 360 view. Yeah, and here's the 360. So what you were able to do with the... Uh, snapshot was orient where you wanted the midpoint to be in that 360 view, which might matter if you were posting that 360 as an example to uh, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, now this is disabled. Include me measurements, labels, and tags and photos uh, for 2D only and show grid. And I have uh, this one disabled. And this one's enabled, and I haven't used this, so I'm not really sure. Oh, so that's I'm... interesting. So uh, if if you wanted to take some measurements, I, so, you know, imagine you, you're, uh, you want to send off a photo, but you want to annotate that photo to include measurements and labels and tags in the photo, then uh, Tom could just toggle that little button on, and when you do your snapshot, then it's going to include any tags or measurements, uh, the annotation that you've you've done. Uh, so there are a lot of different bells and whistles. If we tried to do everything during this show, we'd overwhelm you. Um, yeah. But I, I think you're kind of, you know, as a viewer, getting the gist of what you, you can do. All the way down at the bottom, there's that 360 uh, that, that Tom just did. And then I see an arrow there, Tom. So presumably you could hit that and you could download that individually or you could start checking boxes and download all your images in one shot. Yep, you can start checking them and hit the download up here or delete. So if you hit the download button at the very top, then uh, of that set of images, then you're gonna download all, all of your images. Correct. Do, do you get an email that says your images are ready or does it download a zip 
file right to your desktop. I think it downloads a zip right to your desktop. Okay. Yeah. 